Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really, really deeply appreciate it. As you can tell, I'm out here at the P2K range again. If you ask me the best range in San Diego County, come on out and shoot here sometime. And I'm on the training range and I have an itty bitty tiny little pistol. You know, Some time ago, I did my first video on a Derringer and it seems like Derringers have been falling out of the sky for me to do videos on ever since. And this tiny little thing is one of them. Now this little Derringer is about as cute as cute can be, but you can see it's really teeny weeny, itsy bitsy. You know what they used to say, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. I think I just dated myself. This thing is a little bitty thing. Obviously they're no longer imported. Uh, laws have changed that forbid these kind of little inexpensive guns, but it is a really cool little gun to shoot. It's a lot of fun to shoot, and believe it or not, I thought it was going to be in 22 short, but it's not. It's in 22 long rifle. It actually says 22 LR on the side, and I was shooting 22 long rifles in it for a lot today. A lot of fun, kind of a heavy little thing, so there's hardly any recoil to it at all, and it's a 22, but it's single shot. Now, as far as its construction is concerned, the grips are plastic, uh, the frame and the barrel are, a po are, are some sort of uh, alloy, they're not steel, but there's a steel insert in the barrel, so that's, that's the reason why it can handle the pressure. There's only a, just a couple little controls on it, and that's it. Obviously, you can see the hammer and the trigger, and you really have to be careful not to muzzle yourself with the thing because it's really, really small. So let's be careful and turn it this way. And you can see if you look at the top, I think I've got it turned right so you can see it says EIG. And then if you open it up, there's really only two controls. There's one little screw on either side of the pistol. There's one on this side, one on the other side. This one opens up the breech. And so you push it forward and it allows you to open up the pistol and you just drop around in and away you go. And then if I turn it up for you, perhaps you can see inside where it says Italy. There's a stamp in there where it says Italy. Now this gun has a serial number, has serial number on it on both the barrel and the frame. And it has the Italian uh, date codes that show that it was made in about 1964. Uh, now, the other control, which I didn't show you, this is the, obviously the, the little screw that opens up the breech. But if I turn the gun around, you can see this is the little screw that is nothing but the extractor. So if I push up on it, you can see that the extractor pushes on the rim of the cartridge to push the cartridge out. Now, what I did notice in shooting it is that sometimes that gets stuck in that position. So when you put the cartridge in, the rim of the cartridge will get underneath the extractor and it'll sit there and then it won't close. So you have to be careful about that when you're dealing with rim fire ammunition. You don't want to put anything, you don't want to be putting the squeeze on that rim until the gun is locked up and ready to close. So be very careful to make sure you push that down first, then put the 22 cartridge in, and then you can close up the gun. And uh, pretty much at that point, then it's ready to shoot. And then you have to cock it each time. Obviously, it's single action, uh, but it's a cute little thing, and it's it's pretty solidly built. Um, I, I couldn't find uh, anything wrong with it. It's 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 very well built. It's sturdy as sturdy could be. It locks up nice and tight, and it's a joy to shoot. It's really fun to shoot. It doesn't even wiggle around in your hand. I mean, there's not much of a grip to it. You you just get a little bit, but it because it's curved that way. That finger that gets in there, as you can see, really has a, something to wrap around. And that makes it a lot easier to actually get a grip on the gun and hold it solidly when you press the trigger. Uh, and so I, I got to tell you, I really enjoyed shooting it. I probably put 40 or 50 rounds through it today and had a great time with it. It's a terrific little pistol. But a cool little collector's item, I, you know, because of the date, uh, a lot of these, most of these I would say that you're going to find in the United States fall into the CNR realm. And so you can collect them. And uh, they're not terribly pricey, but as you're going to see, they shoot really well. These little Derringers are a lot of fun to shoot, but they are a single shot. And the sights on them are completely and utterly pointless. And so you just point them and shoot, kind of like that. And then you've got a little ejector to pop the round out. And you can stick another one in there. I just threw some 22s in my pockets. You've got to be careful to make sure that the ejector moves forward before you put the round in, otherwise it'll slip underneath the ejector and then it won't close. But uh, even at this distance, I'm having no trouble keeping a nice little, you know, fairly decent little group just pointing and shooting with, uh, with this little single shot 22. Now, here's the test. Can he hit the can at three yards? Hey, got it once. Let's see if we can get it again.
I'm going to actually try using the sights. That's probably a colossal waste of time, but let's try it. Oh, hey, the sights actually worked. That's pretty cool. I mean, they're hard to see, but what the heck? All right, this thing was a boatload of fun. You know, you just don't think you're going to have that much fun with a single shot 22, but it's a point and shoot kind of a deal. And I, I was very surprised. I first looked at it and I thought this tiny little groove of a sight and this tiny little um, raised up ramp of a sight, post of a sight was going to be completely useless. And then I started using the sights and I found out, wow, it's actually pretty accurate. I was able to knock down, you know, aluminum soda cans and put a decent group on paper out to four or five yards, which with a tiny little gun like this, which let's face it is only that big, that's quite an astounding accomplishment. I was very encouraged by the way the little gun shoots. I can also tell you it's very well made. It's solid as a rock. It, its lockup is good and tight. I mean, it's not rickety and weak. It doesn't rattle. It's a great little fun little 22. So if you ever run into one that you can buy maybe with your CNR or uh, just pick up from a collector, it would be worth having. Uh, unfortunately, I got to give this one back. You know, somebody sent me a, a note saying, you like everything. Well, yeah, you know, I've been shooting since I was five years old and I'm, I'm working on being 60 here. And to be honest with you, I just love shooting and I like guns, they're interesting to me. And so you're right. Yeah, I do like just about everything. Some things have a more practical use than others. This is not a practical gun for self-defense and I would never recommend it for that. But is it fun to shoot? Yes, it's a lot of fun to shoot, and I've thoroughly enjoyed shooting it for this video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like gun videos and uh, you're not a member of the NRA, in my opinion, you need to be. And so I'm going to try to make that easy for you by putting a link right here so you can join the National Rifle Association. Boy, everybody knows at this point that our gun rights are under attack constantly and we need all the help we can get. And particularly on a national basis, the NRA is fighting for us tooth and nail. They're also doing it through their local affiliates like the California Rifle and Pistol Association in my state and probably in your state too. So I urge you to join. If you're not a member, please click on this link and do that. Now, I've had a lot of uh, discussion on my YouTube channel about various videos I've done on home defense and concealed carry and the fact that uh, concealed carriers and home defenders can oftentimes find themselves arrested and going to jail and being sued into oblivion if they ever defend themselves. And I've found a product which I use and I want to just suggest that you check out and that is Second Call Defense. That's a, a service that will help provide you with legal protection and uh, some other uh, advantages as well for a very low cost. And I've found them to be an outstanding service. So in order for you to check it out, we're gonna try to make it as easy for you as possible and put a link right here for you to check out Second Call Defense. It'll take you to a little spot on our website where you can uh, check them out and see if that's a product that you might or service that you might want to invest in. I can highly recommend it uh, because I use it personally. Um, so that's something you can check out as well. And if you happen to come by the P2K range, come on by and shoot with me or say hi or whatever. We're in El Cajon, California in East San Diego County. It's a great range. It's where I teach and where I shoot and I'm here a lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. Please like, subscribe so we can let you know about the new videos when they come out. We've got some great videos from the past and some really great ones planned coming up in the future. Have a great week. Thank you for watching and please be safe.